Three people in Oswego County are homeless tonight. A cult leader is expressing regret. The end of the battle over little Elian Gonzalez. In an historic shift, Democrats will now... Audiences have depended on Tracy Davidson for more than 30 years. You don't stay that long unless your connection with the audience and the community is real. And if you watch Tracy, you feel like she's talking right to you. Which travel websites really get you the best deals? She knows it's not about her. She's a conduit to get information to her audience. She doesn't just want to know what happened. She wants to know how it happened. That is the very basis of her firm grasp on journalism. Tracy discovered this passion while attending SUNY Geneseo in Western New York. I was a DJ and then someone said, you know, there's another radio station on campus where you can read news. And I thought, that's interesting. It wasn't long until her knack for delivering the news landed her a full-time job at a local radio station. And then in 1986, she joined the news team at WTVH5 in Syracuse. President Reagan reports that headway was made. Tracy proved to be a natural, both on camera and off. There were times when Tracy would have to write most of the show and produce the show. And it was amazing watching her in between breaks, figuring out how much time was left, then coming back and anchoring flawless. After a decade in small market Syracuse, Tracy took her talents to NBC 10 in Philadelphia. President Clinton comes to New Jersey. In that first year, I'm pretty sure I was scared every single day. I wanted to do such a good job. She was so quiet and so shy. But then they sent the two of us to the 1996 Olympics in Atlanta. That's when I learned about her news chops. The ground is littered with pieces of shrapnel and shards of glass. That, that was a defining moment in our hearts and minds about what Tracy could be for us. 20 years, seven Emmys, and countless other accolades later, Tracy Davidson's warm and engaging style has undoubtedly earned her the trust and respect of NBC10 viewers. But it's her tireless work as a consumer advocate that truly What's sets her life? apart in our community. So we always tell people, shred, 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 because we are so passionate about this service. The only place you can get it truly free. It's really a blessing for me to be able to give to people, connect with people, help people, especially when it comes to information or connecting them with services that they need. That completely drives me. You've heard that old saying, if you want to get something done, ask somebody who's busy. That's Tracy Davidson. I've never seen anybody make things happen the way Tracy Davidson can, both on TV and off. This is a huge honor for you now in the Broadcast Pioneers Hall of Fame. Congratulations, we couldn't be more proud of you and I couldn't be more proud to sit next to you every single morning. Way to go, let's keep it going. Thank you, thank you, thank you. I should tell you that I know I have a short amount of time, but I said, get up there and take 10 minutes. First, I have to thank God for bringing me to this moment. And I have to thank the broadcast pioneers for this honor, but also for all the people in the room who paved the way for me to get to do what I do. And I hope that I honor you by paving the way for the students in the room who will come after me on this journey. And I, and I want to say congratulations to the other honorees. It's very special for me to have my name listed with yours, it, because I know what you do and I know what you've done, so it's very special for me. I'm so proud to work for NBC10. I have to tell you that I am such a geek. When I go into work at 2.30 in the morning and I drive into the parking lot and I and I see the live trucks lined up, and I see the peacock, and I think, I work here. <laughs> I mean, really, after 20 years, I still say, I work here. And, and, I, and I, I embrace technology so much, but, I, I'm, but the technology is nothing compared to the people that I get to work with. They are talented, they are inspiring, and I love what I do because like Karen, I'm just so grateful that I get to do what I love. I mean, there are, I know that there are so many people who don't have jobs. And I know that there are people who have jobs who hate their jobs, but they have to pay the bills. Oh my gosh. I get to do both. How lucky am I? People, mostly young people, ask, did you always want to be on TV? I have to tell you a secret that for me, it was never about TV. It was about telling a good story. It was about shining a light. It was 
about providing information to people, empowering people with information so they could make better decisions for their lives. And it was about serving the viewers, viewers, people, my neighbors, our community, to whom much is given, much is required. And I believe this job, because of all of its benefits, comes with much responsibility on air and off. I've learned about people who work hard, two, maybe three jobs, and still can't feed their families. I know parents who did everything right in their pregnancy, and still they have babies born too small too soon. And I know women who, scared for their lives, leave in the middle of the night from their homes with their children in tow with just the clothes on their backs. And I know with this job, I can help draw attention to these issues in a very public way. And for that, I'm so thankful. I am, weirdly so, though I'm in the public eye, a very private person. And many would say, at work, all business. But right now, I'm so glad to publicly say thank you from the bottom of my heart to my colleagues, past and present. You inspire me, you have made me a better journalist, and you have way made me a better person. So thank you.